Hi there friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to do a quick tour of the idea of token families. Just kind of give you guys a heads up on what I see these different token families as doing or being or op how I see them operating. So we have um, a whole set of different kinds of tokens. So I was going to talk about a few. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, DeFi, ERC20, SLP, and Oracle tokens. So these are all tokens that have different functions, different families, so to speak. So, um, so they have various functions. And I'm going to start with DeFi because it was kind of a controversial thing I did on my blog in my members area, the guides gave a big warning about DeFi. And I never told anyone to sell anything. I never told anyone that it wouldn't go up. In fact, it was very clear. The guide said these coins can still go up. And of course, some, some of them did. But the point that the guides made was that the DeFi network was uh, very manipulated, was full of corruption, and could be switched off and was entirely centralized and controlled. Now, if you're in the cryptocurrency space, I certainly hope that you're doing your due diligence and research on the projects that you're putting your money into. It's really significant and important because having your money in certain things means certain things. It's not just about money. Of course, nobody wants to hear that. I know we think it's really just only about money, but it really isn't. There's more to it than that. So. I'm not saying you can't make money and I'm not saying that we can't make money on coins that are even probably manipulated, but in certain cases, it's dangerous for you. Like, yes, a lot of people are happy when they're in the stock market, when it goes way back up again until the rug gets pulled out, right? And then they're going to be miserable. And that's kind of what the guides were getting at around DeFi um, and that it was very corrupt. It was a very corrupt, centralized um Organi you know, organization of coins. And so a few days after I published that uh, post, I had, uh, I came aware, I mean, it became aware of a report that was done on DeFi saying exactly this and really pointing out how there's a bunch of insider trading and really with like some sort of factual evidence and research. So that was kind of interesting timing. And I know a few people got upset because they went and sold their certain coins. Well, you know, I never told you what to do and I don't tell people what to do. I give information. I do not provide decision making. However, the guides are very, very clear that this is a very uh, rotten apple, this particular set of uh the, the DeFi network. Okay. So there are coins that operate on the DeFi network and off the DeFi network. And sometimes, so they're only in danger when they're actually on the DeFi network. So I, you know, Link is one of these coins that is only in danger when it's actually on the DeFi network. If it's not on the DeFi network, it is not in danger. So it's a little more complicated than just black or white because there's a whole lot of, um, crossover. And, uh, to point out some things about Link, Link is going to be used to take over all the data and information that is currently being aggregated by Google, who is spying on us. So I know everyone wants to make money with Link, and I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying that you should understand what you're involved in when you're involved in it. Please be sure to do your due diligence. So let's talk about a couple of other networks. Okay. So there are Oracle coins. These are coins that are, um, used to help execute the information in various smart contracts. These coins are going to be very, very important in the, in the future. And they're going to be used a lot and they're going to be very uh, relevant. So it's a good idea to look into that family of coins because Oracle coins will be doing a lot for us in the long term, And, DeFi is its own network, right? Just like Ethereum is its own network. So when I talk about ERC-20 tokens, that was the big ICO of the summer of 2017 when prices went crazy on all the, and you know, all these companies raised a ton of money on their ERC-20 tokens. These were tokens that lived on the Ethereum network. ERC-20 tokens in the long term are going to do very, 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 very well. Not all of them. There's going to be quite a few that 
do die, but as a group, they're going to fare better than the DeFi tokens. And then there's SLP tokens that no one's really heard much about yet, but you will, you will hear about SLP tokens. SLP is Simple Ledger Protocol, and that is the language that builds on the Bitcoin Cash Network. And those will be a whole nother crop, a whole other family of tokens and businesses and companies. So we have a lot of different areas where, um, the ecosystem is building out in crypto, right? And so there's a lot of, you know, railroad tracks that that are like, those are the rails where these companies are built, like Ethereum is a railroad track. Um, then we have DeFi is another railroad track. So we have different coins and different, com- different you know, places where there's a whole, and, and Bitcoin, by the way, and Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash can also have, coins, you know, and contracts and all of that built up on them as well. So there's a whole other layer of stuff on top of the basis, right? So the oldest, most established train track for building companies on is obviously Ethereum. Ethereum is the bedrock of that. It's expensive because of the gas prices that go up and down and stuff on moving anything around. But it is the originator, okay? It is the classic. It is going to be around and it is going to last. And so will Ethereum Classic, actually. So, but Ethereum is really the big monster here. So that is, you cannot overlook the importance of Ethereum and ERC20 tokens. They are going to be like foundational to what's coming in terms of technological money system stuff. Now, how much we're going to operate inside that technological money system is really going to be about how you choose to live your life in the future. So this is why it's about more than money, because some of these coins are all about that centralized system, like the, um, the, um, like the DeFi tokens or or like, like, you know, eating all the, um, the information that Google has that's tracking you every second of every day. Some of these coins, like the coins on the DeFi network are going to be tracked in that way. So if you have your coins and you have them on the DeFi network, you're not just participating in a way to make money. You're also participating in a way to um, pay them to track you (laughs) and to create the system to track everybody. So I really think it's important for you guys to understand So it's important that you guys understand that it's not just only always about money. I know you guys want to make money on your coins. I'm not against it. I'm, that's what I'm all about too, but things aren't always quite that simple. And so that's why I wanted to do kind of this quick primer on sort of like the families of coins. So you understand that to me and from the information I've gotten from the guides, the DeFi network is like a bad neighborhood in the world of cryptocurrency. And the, um, in, in terms of like, you know, having yourself, your privacy lost. Okay. So the, um, but the ERC 20 tokens, the <clears throat> SLP tokens and Oracle tokens are in the long run, they're all going to outperform. So that's just sort of an overview on what I'm seeing there. Um, in the short term, don't FOMO after every coin. Just if your coin that you are, you know, you thinking you missed out on one, just remember, hopefully you have a basket of a lot of good ones and they all hatch at different times. So you can't be jealous that one has left the nest and flying off. You've got to really focus on the ones that you have and start growing more of the eggs in your basket so that you are sitting pretty And, you know, there's a lot of coins that are going to do way, way better than uh, what we've seen run already so far in August of 2020. So that's it. That's kind of the overview of what's coming in terms of token families. There will be a lot more of these kind of token family ecosystems. But don't forget that ERC-20 tokens, the Ethereum network tokens, those are the companies that are nearing maturity. They've actually been through the testing process of growing and vetting themselves and building an infrastructure and building out a, you know, making their companies work. The ones that survive are going to be really strong and going to do really well. So that's it. That's all I wanted to give you guys a heads up about on 
the uh, those kinds of tokens so that you have, have a better understanding of how all that works. So that's it. Thanks. Talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.